Standard 6 Subject Maths Let us learn a new chapter based on profit and loss. Practice set number 31. In this picture you can see two stalls put up by Pranav and Sarita. The details of Pranav's shopping for his stall is given below. The total will be when you add the entire amount. The amount Pranav gained through his sales is Rs. 160. How much did Pranav spend in all? Why is he so disappointed? So, the solution here tells us that the total amount invested by Pranav, which is given here 70 plus 25 plus 45 plus 14 plus 20, is equal to Rs. 174. This is the amount he invested. An amount gained through sale is given here as Rs. 160. So, if we check both the amounts, we come to know that he has his selling price is less than his cost price, this, the amount that he invested. Therefore, selling price is less than invested price. Therefore, Pranav incurred a loss in his Pavbaji business. Hence, he is disappointed. Whereas, the details of Sarita's shopping for her stall is given and the amount Sarita gained by selling is rupees 230. How much did Sarita spend on her bail? Why does Sarita look so happy? So let's look at the solution here. Total amount invested by Sarita when you add up you get rupees 190. Whereas amount gained by selling is rupees 230 which is more. Selling price is more than invested price. Therefore Sarita made profit in her business. Hence she is happy. So this way you come to know whether the person has made a profit or a loss by looking at the selling price. If the selling price is more, it is a profit. Selling price is less, it is a loss. So let's learn about profit and loss. People do various kinds of jobs to earn money. Shopkeepers sell articles that people need. They buy things from wholesale traders in large quantities at lower rates. It cost less than the printed price. When they sell things in retail, that is in smaller quantities, they charge a greater amount. If the selling price is more than the amount paid for it, there is a gain. It is called a profit. Sometimes an article is sold for less than the amount paid for it while buying. The damage in that case is called a loss. So you know how to find out profit and loss. If the selling price is less than the cost price, there is a loss. So the formula for loss is loss is equal to cost price minus selling price. Whichever is greater that comes first. So in loss, cost price is greater so cost price comes first. Whereas in profit, if the selling price is more than the cost price, there is a profit. So, selling price is more. So, in profit, selling price comes first in the formula. Profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. So, these are the two formulas that you have to learn in order to solve practice at 31. That is, loss is equal to cost price minus selling price. And profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. So, now... Write down these two formulas in your notebook neatly before starting practice set 31. So let's begin with our practice set 31 question 1. The cost price and selling price are given in the following table. Find out whether there was a profit or a loss and how much it was. So in this table you can see four sums where cost price is given and selling price is given. So in the first case. We have selling price as 5000. It is greater. So it is a profit. If selling price is greater, it is a profit. If cost price is greater, it is a loss. Here which quantity is greater? Cost price. So it is a loss. In third sum, selling price is greater. So it is a profit. And in fourth sum, 1000, the cost price is greater. So it is a loss. Once you write its profit or loss, you have to find out using formula how much is the profit or how much is the loss. So let's do it one at a time. First sum, cost price is equal to rupees 4500. 
selling price is equal to rupees five thousand. Which is greater selling price? Selling price is greater than cost price. Therefore, there is a profit. Profit is equal to the formula selling price minus cost price. Now substitute the value of selling price, which is five thousand minus cost price is four thousand five hundred. When you subtract, you get your answer for profit. Profit is equal to rupees five hundred. So first you have to write your cost price, then you have to write your selling price, and check which one is greater. You write which cost is greater, and then you state whether it is a profit or loss, and use the formula. So this way we have solved first question. Let's move on to the second sub question. Cost price is given rupees four thousand one hundred. Selling price is given four thousand ninety. Which one is greater? Cost price is greater. So write down. Cost price is greater than selling price. Therefore, there is a loss. Now you will use the formula for loss. Loss is equal to cost price minus selling price. Is equal to four thousand one hundred minus four thousand ninety. Therefore, loss is equal to rupees ten. Third sum. Cost price is given as rupees seven hundred and selling price is given seven hundred and ninety nine. We can see that selling price is greater than cost price. Therefore, there is a profit. Selling price is greater means it is a profit. Write the formula for profit. Profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. Substitute the values of selling price and cost price. Seven hundred and ninety nine minus seven hundred. Therefore, profit is equal to rupees ninety nine. Fourth question. Cost price is rupees one thousand and selling price is rupees nine twenty. Which quantity is greater? Cost price. So write down. Cost price is greater than selling price. Therefore, there is a loss. Loss is equal to cost price minus selling price is equal to thousand minus nine twenty. Loss is equal to rupees eighty. So this way we have solved four sub questions of question number one based on profit or loss formula. So now we can enter the values in the table which we got. So your table will look just like this. You will write that the first sum is a profit and rupees five hundred. In the second sum, it is a loss of rupees ten. Third sum, it is a profit of rupees ninety nine. And fourth sum, it is a loss of rupees eighty. Question number two: A shopkeeper bought a bicycle for rupees three thousand and sold the same for rupees three thousand four hundred. How much was his profit? So directly we are told that it is a profit. We can see selling price is more, so it is a profit. So you will write in the solution first the cost price. Cost price is equal to rupees three thousand. Then we will write the selling price. Selling price is equal to rupees three thousand four hundred. Now the formula for profit. Profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. Is equal to three thousand four hundred minus three thousand. We substitute the values of selling price and cost price. Three thousand four hundred minus three thousand gives us four hundred. That means the shopkeeper's profit was rupees four hundred. So this way we have solved the word problem based on profit. Question number three. Sunanda Bai bought milk for rupees four hundred seventy-five. She converted it. Into yogurt and sold it for rupees seven hundred. How much profit did she make? Again, the solution will check. We'll write the cost price, write the selling price, and then the formula for profit. Substitute the values. You will get seven hundred minus four seventy five equals to rupees two twenty five. Therefore, the final statement you have to write as Sunanda Bai made a profit of rupees two hundred and twenty five. Question number four: The Jija Mata Women Saving Group bought raw materials worth rupees fifteen thousand for making chaklis. They sold the chaklis for rupees twenty two thousand and fifty. How much profit did the Women Saving Group make? So, let's look at the solution. We first write our cost price and selling price, and then the formula for profit. 
कॉस्ट प्राइस ऑफ रॉ मटीरियल्स इज इक्वल टू रुपीज फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड सेलिंग प्राइस ऑफ चकलेस इज इक्वल टू रुपीज ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टी प्रॉफिट इज इक्वल टू सेलिंग प्राइस माइनस कॉस्ट प्राइस इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टी माइनस फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड विच इज इक्वल टू रुपीज सेवन थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टी सो यू राइट योर फाइनल आंसर द वुमन सेविंग ग्रुप मेड अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ रुपीज सेवन थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव प्रमोद बॉट हंड्रेड बेंचिज ऑफ मेथी ग्रीन्स फॉर रुपीज फोर हंड्रेड इन अ सडन डाउन पो थर्टी ऑफ द बंचज ऑन हिज हैंड कार्ड गॉट स्पॉइल He sold the rest at the rate of rupees five each. Did he make a profit or a loss? How much? Now he brought hundred bunches of methi greens for rupees four hundred. That means the cost price is there rupees four hundred. But for the selling price, it's given he sold the rest. Means out of hundred thirty got spoiled. So hundred minus thirty seventy he sold at the rate of rupees five each. One for rupees five, so seventy will be sold for seventy multiplied by five. That will give us rupees three fifty. So cost price is four hundred, selling price is three fifty. What did he make? Which one is greater? Cost price is greater. So he made a loss. And how much? Four hundred minus three fifty, fifty rupees. So let's look at the solution now. Cost price of hundred bunches of methi greens is equal to rupees four hundred. Since thirty bunches got spoiled, therefore remaining bunches of methi green is equal to hundred minus thirty equals seventy. Therefore, selling price of one bunch of methi green is equal to rupees five. It's given. Selling price of one bunch of methi green is equal to rupees five. So now we will multiply the cost. That is the selling price of seventy bunches of methi green is equal to five into seventy is equal to rupees three fifty. Cost price is greater than the selling price. Therefore, Pramod suffered a loss. Loss formula: loss is equal to cost price minus selling price is equal to four hundred minus three fifty is equal to rupees three fifty is equal to rupees fifty. So Pramod suffered a loss of rupees fifty. So what we have done in this sum, we have found out the selling price for seventy bunches by multiplying it by five, which is the cost of one bunch. So this way we have understood that it is a loss, and loss formula we have applied to find how much loss Pramod suffered. Next question number six, Sharad bought one quintal of onions for rupees two thousand. Later, he sold them all at the rate of rupees sixteen eighteen per kg. Did he make a profit or incur a loss? How much was it? Now, Sharad bought one quintal of onions for rupees two thousand. One quintal means hundred kg. That means hundred kg onions were brought for rupees two two thousand. That is his cost price. Later, he sold them all at rate of rupees eighteen per kg. One kg is eighteen rupees. That means hundred kg. We'll have to multiply by hundred into eighteen. That's how we will get our selling price. Eighteen into hundred means eighteen hundred. So his selling price is less. That means he made a loss. Two thousand minus eighteen hundred. He made a loss of twenty rupees. So let's see the solution. Cost price of one quintal onions is equal to rupees two thousand. Selling price of one kg onions is equal to rupees eighteen. Since one quintal is equal to hundred kg, selling price of one quintal, that is hundred kg onions, is equal to eighteen into hundred, is equal to rupees eighteen hundred. Now we got a selling price. We also have the cost price. Looking at the selling price and the cost price, we come to know it is a loss. Cost price is greater than selling price. Therefore, Sharad suffered a loss. Loss is equal to cost price minus selling price. The formula. Is equal to rupees two thousand minus rupees eighteen hundred. Is equal to rupees two hundred, not twenty. It's two hundred. Two hundred minus two thousand minus eighteen hundred is rupees two hundred. Therefore, Sharad incurred a loss of rupees two hundred in all. Question number seven. Kanta Bai bought twenty five saris from a wholesale merchant for rupees ten thousand. 
ओके सो दैट इज़ द कॉस्ट प्राइस टेन थाउजेंड एंड सोल्ड देम ऑल एट रुपीज़ फोर सिक्सटी ईच मीन्स वन सारी वॉज सोल्ड फॉर फोर सिक्सटी हाउ मच प्रॉफिट डिड कांता बाई गेट इन दिस ट्रांजेक्शन सो दे इट इज़ टोल्ड ऑलरेडी इट इज़ अ प्रॉफिट सो टू फाइंड अ प्रॉफिट वी नीड टू नो द कॉस्ट प्राइज एंड द सेलिंग प्राइज कॉस्ट प्राइज इज गिवेन एज टेन थाउजेंड सेलिंग प्राइज वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई फोर सिक्सटी विच इज़ कॉस्ट ऑफ वन सारी इन टू ट्वेंटी फाइव टू गेट द टोटल सेलिंग प्राइज सो लेट्स लुक एट द सोल्यूशन कॉस्ट प्राइज ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव सारीज इज इक्वल टू रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड सेलिंग प्राइज ऑफ वन सारी इज इक्वल टू रुपीज फोर सिक्सटी देर फोर सेलिंग प्राइज ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव सारीज इज इक्वल टू फोर सिक्सटी मल्टीप्लाई बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव इज इक्वल टू रुपीज लेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड द सेलिंग प्राइज एज यू सी इज ग्रेटर देन द कॉस्ट प्राइज सेलिंग प्राइस इज ग्रेटर देन कॉस्ट प्राइस देर फोर इट इज अ प्रॉफिट प्रॉफिट इज इक्वल टू सेलिंग प्राइज माइनस कॉस्ट प्राइस लेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड माइनस टेन थाउजेंड इज रुपीज वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड देर फोर कांता बाई मेड अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ रुपीज वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सो दिस वे वी हैव कंप्लीटेड ऑल सेवन क्वेश्चन ऑफ प्रैक्टिस एट थर्टी वन डू राइट द सम्स वेल इन योर नोटबुक understand the concept of profit and loss stay safe keep learning and thank you